be like, we're done, we're done. He can't bring you anything good, it's over. Send him a text, I'm done with you, it's disgusting. First of all, that's abuse, and you need to report that if you've ever been that's through that. Okay. That's never okay. That ain't it. We had tons of questions about this. Yeah, this one, you, you guys? You guys are juicy. Oh my god. Let's get in the video. Hey guys, it's Naka and Dominic. What's going on? So, today we're gonna be doing a very interesting and juicy, a, a, how do you say educational? Educational. Yeah, today we're gonna be doing a very juicy, educational, oh, interesting okay. Q&A for you okay. guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Juicy, gotta get juiced. We got our drinks right here. We're in Mexico, relaxing. Look at the colors. This is this a Riviera drink. Maya dripping everywhere. It's wet, you know? Very, very good. I love it. It's, mm, it's perfect. I just, it's my favorite drink. Without further ado, okay. let's jump into it. Let's dive. Okay. Let's dive right into it. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. First, question is okay we post on instagram we had uh, some very cool questions lots of questions a lot of them kind of had the same theme so yeah. we're gonna do the ones that had the most kind of themes or like questions towards it that were asked repeatedly the same way different way same with different way hmm. i love you same with different way okay first question numero uno vamos is how can I know that it is now time to let go? Hmm, assuming it of the person. Yeah, I feel like once you start asking yourself, that is it time to let go? It's time. That's when like in the relationship you notice things that your significant other is doing that he never did before. He's making you feel cer a certain way and like you never felt that way. And I think before you let it go, you should honestly talk to them. Just mm -hmm. let them know how you feel. Sometimes like we're quick to jump to the gun, but you need to go to the source. Let them know. And if talking to them makes you feel worse than how you were before, then just dead it. And like make sure you tell them. Be like, I feel like letting go. What do you think we should do? And sometimes they may be feeling the same way. And a lot of times guys will pull away so that you break it off. Because Guys, sometimes you know they're scared too, to bring up yeah. or like hurt your feelings. I don't see the two weak, but yeah, guys. Be sure are you don't you don't self sabotage. From something, sometimes what happens is that you start to self sabotage and put it into your head, mm -hmm. and then you know the worst thing in the world is to put an idea in your head. It's like a virus; it just grows, it takes over you, and then you start to think things that not aren't there necessarily aren't there, true. Yeah. So just go to the root of the problem, try and figure it out. And like Naka says, communication is always key, right? Mm -hmm. So figure it out something with you that you're just projecting or, you know, if it's about him, that's something that he's not giving you or that they're not giving you and then make a decision. But usually if you're, if you're asking if it's time to go, it's probably it's time, time to, to go. go. Okay, so you know, we had tons of questions about this. Yeah, this one, you guys? You, you guys are juicy. Oh my god, you guys want the I juice. I feel like like this question got asked, I'm gonna put all of them on the screen, it got yeah, asked like 10,000 different ways. Different ways, yeah. What is the one thing you do to spice up the relationship? How do you spice up sex life so that it doesn't get boring? How do you spice it up after two years of being together? How do you make it not boring? I mean, there's tons of ways, tons of ways. So, and I noticed that it's a lot of women asking those questions because mm -hmm. I feel like as women, it's well like for there's guys a stigma. The, yeah. the thing is that there's a stigma that you know a lot of women or like in the old school the mentality was that you know pleasure is just for the men mm -hmm. you know it's it's a thing that the guy's supposed to have and grows it's not you know You're it's just not important there. you know there's even cultures where at a certain age they bring you uh some place I, I don't know what the culture is but then they actually like cut off the clitoris mm -hmm. and like because like women aren't supposed to have pleasure I mean, I think that's old school mentality. I think it's a relationship of two people. Mm -hmm. Two people should enjoy everything they do together, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, and a lot of guys often they won't put a lot of focus on the girl, mm -hmm. but you know, like that is almost a main key, right? Mm -hmm. Like, sh she's very important in the relationship, obviously. Yeah. And like, if your partner is not doing that, most of the times he won't know, mm -hmm. right? So if he's not knowledgeable or he doesn't know you have to talk to them because like a lot of them don't know or they just brought up that certain way right mm -hmm. so like i think it's perfect time to introduce today's video the sponsored video today is by lilo yes. so how about you tell us a little bit about it okay so 
what we have here is a massager. We actually picked this massager. Full body massager, guys. Full body. As you guys know, me and Dominic go to the gym all the time. We're always tense and we're relaxed. And I like this right here, you guys. We've been using it and we even brought it with us on vacation. So I was that, we drove from Toronto. We're yeah. using it all the in the car from Toronto. So like, you know, I work out if you go exercise a lot, you're very stiff. So one thing like you know, if you want to spice up the relationship and stuff, oftentimes stress is a big, big factor. So you want to make sure that you know you're both not stressed. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of different ways that you hold tension. Like if your body is tense, your whole body is tense. How do you think that's gonna reflect in the bedroom, mm -hmm. right? Make sure that you're you're loose. Yeah. You know, so you're just relax. Especially for women, what Dominic does is he gives me massages. You put a little bit of oil on here, which is important if you're gonna be having sex with your significant other women we need to be relaxed we need to be in it because like sometimes like guys they get excited right but they don't understand that women we are fragile beings we have to get aroused like you literally have to get us in the mood it's like an oven and you, you got preheat the oven yeah whereas guys just mechanically they're built just to like it's already pop a one pump chunk you know yeah. they're basically just built you know from the biotics from the biology just to you know procreate and just like go in and go out mm -hmm. you, you can't just put the turkey in in the oven when it's cold mm -hmm. and also Lilo on the website what I really like about that is that they break all that stigma if you go on the website and especially you have to be comfortable with your sexuality you have to be comfortable talking about sex what pleases you and I like on the website they have key points on like how to uh, exercises to do on like how to relax the clitoris, what to know. Um, they have different toys if you want to check them out and um, we picked the massagers. So this brand really, they go in depth, they go hard for Women. sexuality. It like, it's just sexuality like and it's very taboo for a lot of women like they think that you shouldn't talk about sex you know mm -hmm. you shouldn't um have orgasms like orgasms talking about that yeah it. it's like a taboo subject oh my god you're not supposed to talk about it mm -hmm. yes you are you especially with your partner mm -hmm. you know if you're not open to talk about it with a partner how do you think you're going to be satisfied both of you in that area exactly. right so and like that's part of a healthy relationship right a lot of people ask you know things about like healthy relationship well that's one part of it is that you both have to communicate in that area mm -hmm. the thing that i we because we both use it we like about it is there, guys there's different setting the if settings. you're having a like a stressful day different setting you see how it vibrates different vibrations depending on like where you want it and how you ache it see that <laughs> you see that <laughs> and guys this right here this is some good stuff, you know, like I said, full body massager, you can use it on your full Look, body. You can easily wash it, and like, the thing is that you can go in the back, you can go anywhere, and it, like the way you, oh, you like that? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so um, to spice it up, introduce toys in the relationship if you want to. That's one thing um, you can do. Yeah, so like I said, do massages, do toys, anything, go check out Lilo. We'll have the, the, the link in the description for you guys to go check it out, see what they have. Educate yourself on orgasms, ladies. Uh, um, people are almost scared to say the word. Yeah, you know? like, like sex, <laughs> you know, like orgasm, women orgasm, like the clitoris. The, the, like. the woman, the body of the women is very, very complex, right? So people need to be, how, how do you think people are going to understand the body of a woman if people don't talk about it? You know, mm -hmm. if you're scared to talk about it, you know, if like, and don't be scared, like to keep things interesting in the bedroom and to keep things fun, you, you got to talk, you know, like yeah. if you like something, tell your partner, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like. You know, you can introduce toys to spice it up. You can try new things. Just think about what you were doing at the beginning of the relationship that was fun, and just be like, "What did you like? Do it again." You know, because it's exciting, right? Sex it is should be. It should be, be exciting. Yeah. It should be enjoyable for both people, right? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be exciting. It's not supposed to be boring. You're not supposed to be yeah. there. So, go check out Lilo. Their website beautiful. I love the colors and the messages, everything like that. And ladies, we have to be out there. Talk about what you like in bed, and if a man can't satisfy you. Bye. You got this. So, <laughs> next question. Is lingerie overrated or do you guys love it? And how revealing do you guys prefer it to be? Dominic? <laughs> I was just gonna see if you're gonna answer <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, so is lingerie overrated? I don't think so. You know, I think the guys, like, if you, you don't think too much into it, you know, like, the thing about wearing lingerie, it's not necessarily about the lingerie itself. 
it's about the act of doing something for your guy. You know what I mean? Like me, if like Naka would would put on laundry, I wouldn't even be looking. You know, necessarily add laundry. First of all, I'd be looking at her. Mm -hmm. Second of all, most laundry are revealing, so yeah. doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and third of all, the guy knows it's gonna come off in like five minutes. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? He knows it's gonna come off soon, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's just that the thought that you have that you're doing yeah. something for him and you're trying to please him. Mm -hmm. That's what's most important. Mm -hmm. So like, the laundry thing, like it's just the act of doing it. You yeah. know? It's like a surprise. Like like you don't you know, like just think of a striptease or something like. Even if the strip tease sucks, you still gonna like it. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Yeah. And how revealing, like, is it? it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. And the other thing is, like, strut it with confidence, girls. Like, don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't be shy. Like, this is your guy. You're wearing laundry for him. It's only two of you. Oh, maybe. But <laughs> 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 so don't be shy. Strut with confidence, and he's gonna like it. Mm -hmm. How do you guys? Wait. Oh wait. You see this, guys? That look. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you guys deal with arguments? Do you ever get angry with each other? See, I don't call it fights, I just call it arguments or disagreements. You yeah. know, like there's always something that you don't agree on, but this doesn't mean you have to have a fight about yeah, it. Yeah, like Dominic likes to sleep with a cold blast AC, and I like to sleep in the heat. Yesterday, we got in a little argument. I was like, it's cold, it's minus 100 degrees in here, I'm freezing. Like, we need the heat so we're like okay um we're gonna put compromise in the middle yeah i, I wanted 24 which me was already compromised she wanted 26 so we put 25 you know exactly and then the other thing is that, that i don't think you ever need to raise your voice mm -hmm. to someone you love so like that's another thing like even if you have disagreement or fight you want to call it there's no need to scream at each other like yeah. you know and if you're ever upset and then you guys stop talking you know just you know, uh, c just collect yourself. Mm -hmm. Just think about the reason, all the reasons you love that person, mm -hmm. and then just go for calm head, and then just just talk it out. You're, you're adults, right? You're, yeah. not, you're not like little, little babies, kids, yeah. and like you're mature adults. So mm -hmm. talk about it in a mature manner, mm -hmm. right? And, and we don't go to bed angry at each other. You one, talk no, about no, no, it. No. Yeah. The day of, you have the yeah. argument. Don't go to bed. Never. That's how you hold grudges. You're gonna mm. be like, I remember when he did that ten years ago, <laughs> and you're still mad at him. When you have an argument, talk about it that day. Even if you're heated, just let them know. Be like, I'm very heated right now. I'm very, very angry. And just let it out and talk mm -hmm. about it. Because if you... Or like, if you keep it in, it's just going to boil up. You're going to start making scenarios in your head that aren't there. Make sure you talk about it the day of and communication strong. And it might, you know, the other thing is if you keep it inside, it might come out all at once mm -hmm. for things that he did or she did like mm -hmm. a, a long time ago. You know it's like I mean? having, you know, when you have a shitty manager and like they keep doing things to you and you keep bundling up and then one day they, they, they do something that's like not that bad. Oh, fuse blows that's up. happened to me before. And the other thing is that like if you're arguing with, you know, your, your partner or whatever, and the way that they say something, if it hurts you, you have to tell them, mm -hmm. you know? Like yesterday, when Naka said about like the temperature, I was like, oh, I didn't like that you said it in this way because it made me feel this way. So you gotta communicate, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so next question. Have you guys ever gotten in a physical fight? First of all, that's abuse, and you need to report that if you've ever been that's through that. Okay. That's never okay. That ain't it. Uh, no. A man should never ever lay hands on his girlfriend. No matter what. I don't There's care no if she excuses. scratches you, punches There's no you. Excuses. No. I see like girls that are like, well she hit him so he should have No, it doesn't matter. To like dismantle a situation, you never never need violence. Let's say for the worst, worst case scenario, even if Naka punches me, I can restrain her without causing harm to her. Mm -hmm. Like I can literally just like grab her like this and hold her and prevent her from like hitting me right yeah. i don't need to lay hands on her i can mm -hmm. just restrain her yeah so there's no there's never never any need for especially, like your guy to hit you especially never. if you're in a relationship that's that's the worst because like he knows the good in you you know what mm. i mean like that's your partner and the fact that you he never hits hurt you them. yeah you need to go like don't don't provoke it mm. but even like like just don't provoke it but even then like there should be no reason even to. if you provoke it like there's no, never a reason to there's never i i don't care what it is i don't think a guy should ever hit a woman even if she initiated like no you don't need to call 911 leave like like the other yeah. ways to like exactly de-escalate the situation exactly. first violence is, is never the solution mm -hmm. my my boyfriend cheat on me with other girls but he claims he still loves me but I get hurt day by day, what should I do? You leave. leave. 
<laughs> First of all, he doesn't love you if he's cheating on you. I don't want to sound harsh, but he doesn't. The cheating, besides the whole action of cheating, you know, like the the thing that's worse about cheating that should be in his head is that he's causing you harm. Mm -hmm. If he can intentionally cause you harm by doing those actions, how can you love someone doing that? Yeah, he you know, like whether it's physical, mental, whatever, verbal harm. Harm is harm. You and should never want to hurt, yeah. harm your partner. And he if doesn't. You love them. He doesn't take you seriously because he knows you're gonna take him back, right? So he cheats on you again. He's like, she's not yeah, gonna do anything. Especially does it whatever, over and over again, right? So he's just using you for something. And I think the issue with when you allow someone, you said he keeps cheating on you. There's something in you that's lacking. You know, you need to like instead of being in that relationship, break it off and work on yourself. You need to work on your self-esteem because I guarantee, if like, well, I can't even say if that was me, but like, I would have, I loving myself the way I love myself. I'm never gonna let someone disrespect me like that time after time and cheating on me for what? I deserve better. You wanna put yourself exactly. in that position. Exactly. I would yeah. never, and I can't even sit here and sit if that was, and say if that was me because that's never gonna be me. I don't care who it is. If they cheat on me, that means they don't value me and they don't see me in the true beautiful light that I am. So I'm out and I'm gonna work on myself and work on yourself. Don't go looking for another relationship, no. Once you get cheated on yourself, on like you, it it tears you down, like it breaks you. It's horrible. No matter what they say, you need to take some time off and work on yourself. Like heal heal yourself, work on yourself. Exactly. Until you're ready, then go in another. Yeah, like you, you you always hear about like girls that got cheated on and like how it affected them. Because I feel like it does. Like I watch Soft White Underbelly all the time. <laughs> And all those girls that are on there, it's because of bad relationships, getting cheated on. You don't, you don't get it, but when you keep, it's a cycle, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a cycle. And if if you if you forgive them and you take them back, or the girl you take them back, it's gonna keep repeating itself because you're you're almost telling them it's okay. And you're making yourself weaker and weaker and weaker and mm -hmm. weaker. And that it becomes a norm. Yeah, which exactly. It should, right. So let them go, leave them. It doesn't matter. Like, leave them if you have to cry for. Cry now, laugh later, just mm. leave him. Don't even, don't, no, just break, text him, <laughs> hey, we're done, it's over. They don't even deserve for you to break up in person, just send him a text, I'm done with you, it's disgusting. Throw, put his things in a garbage bag, throw them outside, burn them if you have to, that's dirty, like, disgusting. And yeah. get checked out for any diseases, because you said multiple times, like, people like that, they don't, they dirty. don't, they don't care. If you're cheating on someone like, Anyways, girl, just break up with him. Right, honestly, yeah. like, like we're telling you, like you, everyone, you are enough. Your whole is enough for mm -hmm. one person. You will never lack, or you're, you're never not enough for some person in yeah. the world in your life that is yeah. meant to be with you. You are enough for them. You are. So don't ever doubt yourself that you're, you know, he's cheating on you because you're lacking no, something. No, that's it's not the case. Him. It's something wrong with, with him. him. And like, just don't put yourself in that poison don't. situation. Just think no, about like, like hitting someone. Like leave, you know, if there's something unhealthy, anything that hurts you in a relationship, it's not a healthy relationship. How are you gonna go through that, you know, that time stress time. and, and that abuse every mm -hmm. time, you know, like actions speak louder than words. 100%. Don't even go back. Don't even, don't even cry tears of that over that. It's done. Like, don't even, don't even put scenarios in it. Done. Just break up that's him. It, that's After it. watching this video, you know who I am. It's done. <laughs> Dead it. Like cut it. Be like, we're done. We're done. He can't bring you anything good. It's over. Next question. Before last question, quick question I'm gonna answer. Dom, any advice on how to gain weight? Also have bigger arms and chest. I gave up. First of all, I never give up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna answer this quickly because I feel like a lot of people answer. I don't wanna get too much into detail, but anyone who has trouble gaining weight, there's only one solution, eat more. You, that, yeah. you gotta eat more. Same thing with people who wanna lose weight, eat less. Same thing with people who wanna gain weight, eat more. Uh, I can vouch for that. I used to be really, 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 really skinny, and look at me now. There's a calorie. What like, I did, I ate more. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. To lose weight, there's only like with science, the way our bodies are made, there's one way to lose weight. Eat less. It's calorie deficit. You get there by two ways: eating less, like expending more energy than you consume. So you eat less, or you do cardio, exercise to expend energy. That's, that's the only way. Less. And you know. Also have bigger arms and chest, progressive overload. The only way you can build a muscle is progressive overload, which means up the weight or up the intensity over a amount of time. Then you put the muscle under stress, you build fibers, it recuperates, it recovers, eat well, have a good protein diet, eat more, and don't give up.
it takes time, you know, like I've been training for like 15 years, you know, so like don't expect it overnight. So you know, losing weight, don't crash diet, don't do it overnight. Don't expect no. it to be in a month. It's it's a fitness journey. Exactly. You know, it's a marathon, not a sprint, right? You have to, if you, especially with weight gain or weight loss, you have to do things that are going to, you're going to be doing permanently. Last question of the night. Ah, when do you know it's the right time to lose your virginity? No one does. You don't. We can't answer that. No one does. Everyone's different. Every single person is different. Mm -hmm. I, I could be different than Naka. It depends what situation you're in. It depends what time what mind state you're in there's so many factors there's never a right time there's like honestly the the easiest way to answer this is if you're asking yourself if you're ready you're probably not ready yeah you know like when you're ready you should feel almost excited to you know like do it with someone yeah. that you really care about not just a one-time thing just to get it over with That's how I <laughs> you know so whenever you're ready you're gonna know you're ready yeah or if you're gonna do like a one night stand one time thing just Accept, Accept it. it and don't regret it, you know, but yeah, try it. It's better to do it with someone that loves you um, especially, That will respect you. Yeah, especially if you're the type that really really cares about how That cares about it. You know what I mean? There's two types mm -hmm. of people. There's people that want to lose their virginity and It's like it's not a big deal But if you're someone that first of all if you care about your virginity, you shouldn't be losing your virginity mm -hmm. if, You know what I mean? Like if you're asking yourself when should I lose it? Just keep it. Just your virginity but if, but, and then there's other people that are like, I don't care, I want to lose it, nah, 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 and they have no regrets, then do that. But if you're someone that really cares about that, that values that, don't have sex. Just don't have sex. It's not worth it, especially if you're in high school, teen, you're not missing out there. Trust me, especially if you're in high school, because I think that was a young girl that sent me that. Baby girl, let me tell you, these high school boys, they don't know what they're doing. It's not, you ever see dogs when they're like humping each other? That's what that's what it is. I'm not even joking. That's what you're gonna be doing if you do. It's not fun. Just stay a virgin until you're older. You're married, you know. That would be better, you know. You're older. You're married, you know. You can talk about it. Cause when you're in high school. Hello. Okay, I'm recording a video. I'll call you in two seconds, okay? Goodbye. Okay, bye. <laughs> but thanks for like. That was. Thanks for watching the video. That's the video. Thanks. Well, that was the video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully it was informative. Yeah. Hopefully you learned some stuff. Yeah. You know? you know. And honestly, sex is not a taboo. Okay? Be open. Be open. Be you know, open. especially with your partner. Exactly. You know, you, you talk to your girls about it all the time. Well, I, I'm sure you do. You do. We so do. So why not talk about about your partner? Yeah. You know, like most of the times they don't even know that they're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, so some of them they think that they're they're the best. And then, how are you gonna tell the best? That is like, not. You know, yeah, like some of them think that they're the best, so if they think that, they're, they're not gonna go research the, yeah. the female anatomy no. or whatever, you know. You and need to tell them, you ladies. Need to tell me, lay them down and be like, listen. I don't like that. I wanna spice it up, I don't like that. You know, I wanna introduce some fun, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, and there's no shame, there's no shame in the game, no. guys. There isn't. We're all human, we all got, you know, urges, we all got this and that. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Toodaloo! Smash like button. Bye! Bye.